on Ice Hockey UK TV in association with SMP Europe. I'm joined by the GB Women's Under-16 head coach, Nikki Wardell. Nikki, thanks for joining us. I'd love to chat now about the weekend and, and what a, I mean, first of all, you know, if people don't know, you went away for the weekend, the Under-16s and won the British Women's Ice Hockey Friendship Tournament at Planet Ice Bristol. I'll, I'll break it down shortly, but what an achievement. Just, just how special was it to do that with a group of girls who I guess you've not had long to work with um yeah Chris it was a it was a fantastic achievement the girls just seemed to to gel from Friday when when we first met and then um we haven't had long to work with them you know a few of our girls are currently playing with the under 18s in Turkey um so we brought we brought more girls or girls into the team and uh, they have performed absolutely phenomenally the uh, this this weekend we saw pleased with them I know the same for all sides, but it must have been an intense tournament. A lot of games today, six day games on the, the first day. You know, the, there was what four on the next day, then well six in the end with the semi final and final. You know, how how do you prepare the girls to play? No, they weren't four games, but how do you prepare the girls to play so much hockey? We um we just we just kind of broke it down um, game by game. We approached one game at a time. We didn't think too too far ahead. We just. We just made sure that um, after the first, you know, the first games that girls were correctly hydrated, that we were, we were having snacks. Um, you know, the, the staff were great. The, our manager was great, making sure that the girls were eating at the right time so they had sufficient gap between games, just to make sure that we, you know, they weren't playing with too much on a, on a tummy and and that you know the girls are sensible enough that they they took time, you know, to rest to rest as well. They didn't, there wasn't too much wandering about. They just sort of stayed in the group and and you know just just relaxed really ready for the for the next game which was around about an hour an hour quarter apart so it wasn't too long to wait but it was just enough really to uh, to get them ready for the next one and just going back to friday you met on the friday night i saw some pictures of a game of cards uno i just wondered how important that was to bond the squad together before the tournament oh that was that was really important to us to to get everybody together on friday night um we were uh, one a couple of girls missing because they had um, they had the, their end of year proms, which we really wouldn't want them to miss. So that was absolutely fine. They came they came later on in the evening, but it was really important to get this group together because we haven't had them together as a group either off ice or on ice, and we just wanted to make sure that they could start and gel straight away. Um, and the the Uno the Uno mini Killer Uno tournament was actually their idea. They took that upon themselves, started playing a game. You know after they'd, they'd had dinner and before we arranged a team meeting later on and you know they just they just gelled like that straight away it was it was fantastic to see now obviously lots of positives i'm sure to take but one thing i noted from it was there was a lot of shock shutouts scarlet and evelyn uh, obviously must have been very solid at the back and and team defense i guess but you know one thing that impressed me from looking from afar is how few goals you conceded as a team yeah, I, I, you know, we conceded a goal in the first game and I, and I really expected us to, you know, concede more as the tournament progressed. But, I mean, jo, uh, Josie did a fantastic job with the D this tournament. And, you know, the, the D's own coverage, the, you know, the, the forwards that came back and helped, they, they blocked and stopped a lot of the shots. And I kept saying to the, two, to the two girls, the goalies, to Scarlett and Evelyn, you know, I fully anticipate that you're going to be busier as this tournament goes on. It's going to get harder. The girls are going to fatigue. You're going to be busier. I just didn't anticipate that they would be as busy as they were in the way they were towards the end of the tournament. So, you know, the two girls, they, they were phenomenal. Absolutely, absolutely phenomenal over the weekend. And also what I think looking at it from afar as well is good is that you won both the semi-final and the final on penalties. You know, when the girls transition to, to world championship tournaments, they're going to face pressure moments like that, aren't they? Yes, yeah, absolutely. And I think it was a little bit of a, you know, a baptism of, of fire for some of them. But, you know, the girls really surprised us when it came to that aspect. You ask, you ask girls about, you know, take, you choose your girls to take, to take penalty shots. But there were quite a few of them actually volunteered, which is, was really refreshing. Um, and in the end, the, you know, the girls that scored the penalty shots are just not the girls that we would, you know, ex expect to... To, to do that so you know across the whole group it was it was it was it's amazing and they coped with the pressure very very well and I really I know I have to give the goalies some credit because they just didn't phase them whatsoever in fact I think they were looking forward to the, the pair of them were looking forward to it so so yeah um for their age the, and the maturity and the you know the 
that they just they just took to it so well. I was I was really really proud of them. And just finally, spoke to Angela Taylor today about what a great half an hour it was with the under 18s winning in overtime, followed by the under 16s winning that penalty shootout. It really does show that the, the future of, of this women's program is in great hands, isn't it? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, I mean, this this year with the girls, you know, the senior women have achieved a gold medal. The you know, we wish the under 18s all of the very best of luck for tomorrow. They're you know, going for their gold medal. Um, and then you know, we've achieved with with, with winning a tournament this weekend. You know, the girls are um, the, the girls they're playing with the 18s have matured really quickly. They've, they've stepped up with the actual 18s girls into that into that team straight away. Um, and then looking what we have, you know, coming going forward for, for the summer onwards, it is really, really positive. There's there's so much talent out there. And as I know as I saw Angela's interview earlier on, we are we are really excited about moving forward with this and, and just seeing who the next the next the next crop are. Um and yeah, there is some fantastic talent out there. Um and we're looking far and wide to see them to, to make sure that we're they're included in the program. So from from our point of view at 16, it, it has been a bit of a difficult year, but we have we you know, from, from what we expected from, from this weekend, we really have um, well and truly exceeded the goal that we went with. And uh, I'm so proud of each and every one of them. And they were fantastic to work with. And it was just, you know, it's brilliant. It's, it is really brilliant for women's hockey and it's it going forward. Um, you know, the social media um, exposure we've had over the last few days, that has been, you know, as Angela said, that's been fantastic too. Um, the girls were kind of having a little bit of a TikTok competition with the 18s to see who could do the best one and they were waiting for something to come back and you know it just helped fill the timing over the day so yeah it, it is it's, it's fantastic the talent is, is, is amazing